one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And I do all kinds of videos on cars and trucks and classic stuff mostly, but also daily vlogs. All the cool cars around here. Make sure and subscribe. Got some new inventory in down there. Gonna be doing details on it. And you know, just other stuff has been sitting and actually got the Montana out there now. And boom, new inventory here too. Got the airport sign from the road. All kinds of cool stuff. This video, let me turn around here. This video is just gonna be fabricating a radiator to go into a fabricator surround and making the radiator fit in a Massey Ferguson tractor. We found out that <laughs> the radiator costs, it could be plus or minus a grand. You might be able to find something for like 650, 750, but it's insane. They recore them, it starts at sinking um, 600 bucks. That ain't what I remember from when I was younger when they fix them, but things are different now. So it's running, it's good. And Rich had to put a radiator in there from a Honda Civic. A Honda Civic and a Massey Ferguson. Hey, pretty cool differences and stuff. He'll explain that, show you how he fabricated this all in. And that's that. I hope you enjoy. Make sure and check my website. I'm really clearing out some cars cheap. And that's that. Thanks for watching. And tune in tomorrow. There will be a part in this video where it's doing the radiator. And then the last part will be us cold starting it to try and get it going before we put the water pump and stuff on. And just cranking and cranking and cranking. And you'll see the process. She's a cold hearted beast. I think I haven't started in 8 to 12 years, man. She is cold hearted. So, whatever. Here we go. If you watch my channel, you know Rich. Hello. That's the original one. That's a brass core or copper? What is brass. it? Brass. It's brass. It's got a flange on both sides, which is the mount for both of them. And that's how they were mounted versus now. This one didn't have the mounts. It's more surface area, but it's got the hoses in roughly the same And did you place. say the aluminum cools better, they said? That's what they said, because it was thinner, and I asked it's him, like, he, said, he said the aluminum. It's like, seriously, the other one is three, four times, three times thicker. This is out of a Honda Civic. So it's a Honda Civic one. There'll be a link in the description below to order it. So, I put this, it seems hokey, but I put a piece of wood in the bottom just to keep the plastic from rubbing on the metal and vibrating and wearing a hole through the plastic. But I modified the, I had to modify the shroud with a notch down here in the bottom corner. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. let's show this. That's cool. Just yeah, that's to modify all. it. The Custom hose, fabrications with that. The hose is. comes out, so I put the shroud in, it holds onto that, okay. Then I get the radiator in, set that in. I got a couple little holes drilled in that piece of wood that line up with those tabs on the bottom there. So that sits there. So at that point I have this gap and I have this gap. And my mounts are on top and bottom instead of on the side, so. Okay, hold on a second here. So, now he's getting his parts out he's got from that. And where did he get his parts? Mr. Custom Fabricator cut apart the washing machine. And he's got pieces over here and pieces over there and here. Was this the original piece? This was an original piece on the top. The original ho it sat like this is the original. This. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me show this. This is the original, and he's actually had to cut a new one on the top. Well, this was this was for the air intake. This was for the 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 coolant hose going into the radiator. But what I had to do is I had to modify this one to go over the top so it line up. That's We're gonna cool. have to have an S-shaped hose. Did to this go here. used to be here? This used to be here. What did this? Oh, this, gotcha. This air intake hose was sitting gotcha. right there because it sucks from in the front side of the radiator where gotcha. the air is still cool. So, but what my plan is, is, so I'll just, I'll mock it up real quick with a couple bolts. Where's my, my little tub of bolts I brought? Here we go. So if we were to place this in this neighborhood right here, with the nut there, and the same on the other side, uh, let's see, come on, come here. Uh, that's roughly where it's going to sit. So what I've done is this piece will sit right here. This piece is going to sit right here and line up with these bolt holes right there and there. There's got some holes and then on this side. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, drop that. So this will sit on this side like so, and it will line up with this bolt hole here. Well, there's still nothing holding the top of the radiator. So what I did is I bent some pieces of angle. 
I cut them notch them to fit. metal, right? Yes, off the washer, off the dryer. I got to drill a hole right down in this bottom corner to catch this bolt. But what's going to happen is this will sit in here like this. Box it in. Box it in. I bent a little tab right here to swing over and catch the bolt for the oil cooler on the back side. There's a little notch there. But it'll take a little bit of tinkering once it's together, but I just have to drill some holes to line up the holes in the factory shroud. Sandwich everything together, kind of. It's, yeah, it's a work. little rough. But yeah, it'll sit like this. I'll probably put a bolt through here. It's in the bottom to suck that over this way. But that, that directs all the air coming through the radiator. We're not losing all the air in through the gap. And then it's I'll a have three cylinder, to, huh? It is a three cylinder diesel, yeah. Mm -hmm. This will sit up here. I'm gonna have to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some long bolts right here. But I'm gonna put nuts on both sides of this to space this out and hold, you know what I mean? That'll hold the top of the radiator. And then, uh, you don't want nothing rubbing on the radiator. You don't want anything touching that aluminum because the vibration will eat a hole through it, you know what I mean? So it's kind of just yeah. suspended in the middle off of the bolts, the plastic, and those little tabs on the bottom. But that's where we're at. Should go well. Let me get some drill bit going here, and uh, I'll go ahead and update this again when he gets it together. I'll show some more as we're doing it. Whatever. Not we. He's doing this. He's the master fabricator, man. I don't know. He lost me a long time ago on this. But dude can fix anything, and it's a cool fix too. And like I say, there's a link down in the description below to buy this radiator, and. Um, yeah, that's that. Talk to you in a while. All right. I hope you can see from this area. He's got these here screws to put this in. He's got all his little stuff. I'll bet you that goes like that almost. I don't know. Somewhere. I turn the bolt around though. I got to put it the other way like this one. Um, just for, oh yeah. Because I need to be able to have more thread adjustment. Look at this though. Here. This thing it looks like it's it looks like it's been welded up just for it, man. And it's all done with drilling holes and cutting stuff and bending it. I know about all that. It looks good. We'll paint this thing black. They won't even know anything ever happened if yeah, we've done right, that. Right. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, it's just I couldn't have the right bolts and nuts. And... Yeah, that looks good. That definitely is a nice radiator cage. Honda Civic, Massey Ferguson. You'd never believe that. Massey Civic. Massey Civic. Honda Ferguson. Honda Ferguson. We need a seat. So push well, this I'll put more in a while. And oh man, I gotta put this nut on here. Ah! See, put another both sides of this. Trying to get your nut on? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anti freeze so, in it and ready to go. I had fittings that went from this size to this size. <laughs> So I had to put a size in the middle because I had to extend it. We're going to have to probably address these hoses. It's the Franken Ferguson. We're probably going to have to address it. That's high pretty tech. slick, man. That's high tech. That's some, that's some, that's some fabrication work there, man. Look at it. He's got the screws all in here. It's perfect. I, I'm going to probably put up the other one where, you know what? I'll put it behind it where we were cranking on it. Cold start. Um, I'm going to put that behind this, but <laughs> I've said it in many, many videos. And I'll say it again, he's got stuff on fittings down here. You can even see that. It's going two into one there too. This into this, just like normal. But shoot, man, he got, he's got this all plugged off with a, a screw. And Man, I'll tell you what. The number of people that are going to come up with doing this are very few and far between. I've had no one that could come up with something like this around here ever in the last... How long ago did you leave? 12 years <laughs> In the last 12 years or eight years, this is Probably cool stuff. Have done it then either. Yeah, you could have. You just, you could do anything that's put in front of you, dude. Okay. Let's see. Ready? Get ready to crank it. Ready? And go. Probably gonna get it.
<laughs> All right, it's running and running good. It's just a cold-hearted beast. This thing hasn't been started in eight to ten years. Actually, probably since about eight seven. Eight six or seven. We're leaking a little bit of water. Oh, I, I spilled it down the thing. Oh, okay. No, I right. was watching. That's leaking a little. We should probably turn it off. No. no. That's the deal. A little bit more fine tuning and we got it running, man. It's a nice tractor. Can't wait to do some more work with it. We'll talk to you. You can hear it just humming away over here. That thing has 103 hours. Nice tractor, man. Job for you. Here you go. It's this. What you need to do is rake all the poo in one place. Try not to rake too much hay and too much grass, but just rake the poo. And you know what? This isn't like dog poo. This is horse poo. It's not really that gross. It doesn't stink, does it? Nope, it's just grass. Versus the dog is like meat. They've been eating dog food. Rich is putting the water pump on the Massey Ferguson. We'll check in on that. Poop and water pumps. Poop and water pumps. The people that call me, I had to leave my phone inside to where I could come out here and actually get through five or ten minutes with Rich and answering questions or doing whatever. Why did Keith? You were the roofer. I would vouch for him if he was. Oh, Keith, with his two front teeth? Keith. Um, <laughs> But his, his girlfriend's mom's drunk right there, right outside of Lolo, uh, on the right, if you headed this way, it's one of the little houses out there. Yeah. Uh, uh, she, she got a couple bids, it's like 21, 22 grand. And, uh, uh, and really, she wants to do it. She wants to be able to keep some money, and then he wants to make some money. And he said he would use me to do it, and he said he needed. Talk to you about maybe he, he was doing it for loads. Rich has the water pump on here, and we're gonna do a cold start. This is a cold start to end all cold starts. Well, I wish that I would have got a video of how much dust came out of this. We're talking more dust than you can imagine. Look, it's still stuff coming out. I can't believe it's still coming out. Huh? Can't believe it's still coming out. Dude, Hang on now. <laughs> no, I got no battery. It ain't starting. I'll go get my jump box. Okay. I want to I want to detail this and buff it, dude. Yeah, I should put a seat on it. Uh, I'm telling you what, this paint will buff out like nothing else, dude. It's gonna look nice. I know you had K. Oh, you threw in the back. Oh yeah, right on the filter. Yeah. Yeah, this is 
was the, it was trying to fire, smoking. Uh, see more juice. More of that juice. I think this is the park break. This is the killer. This is the stall. I think. Uh, that is, oh yeah, you're right. Park break. And it's on fast. <laughs> <sighs> oh well. She'll start. Nobody even ran it yet. Ferguson 1010 uses the ignition switch left position to activate the glow plugs. Turn back. Maybe she'll just wait and order a key. The light came on. Light came on. Which light? This one. Is that glow plug? Low L low L pressure that's the glow plug there. The glow plug came on. Yeah, it's told to hold it there 20, 30 seconds. You gotta hold it to the left. Lately, it seems like that's not enough. It took four tries holding it 20, 30 seconds. Well, I'm trying to determine where I could have hogs at. Piggies. I don't really know where that area might be. So, a single quail. Oh, there's a whole cubby. There you come. You'll be fine for a minute, I think. Hello. Hello, how are you guys? Good, how you doing? Good. I'm Heidi. I'm Nathan. This is Lily and Katrina. Hello. Hi. You're doing cows and all, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm doing all. Later. Oh, <laughs> we're leaving her. She doesn't it's like sad. that. So, how you guys been? Good. Enjoying the lockdown? Yes and no. It's fun to be home. It is. Oh yeah, she. Be careful. I'm sure somewhere at some point, yes. Nice boots, by the way. It gets too musty around here not to have. Oh yeah. So if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to spray your shoes off and then have cool. it go on your hands and then you guys can wipe it off on the towel. Kind of like a hand sanitizer. Perfect. And then you can just rub it together and then you, can, you guys can dry your hands off. Forget the towel, we'll just rub our hands. Hey buddy. How you doing Bruce? Team poop picker. Wow. I guess we're going to have a lot of fertilizer this year. We will. Put your shovel down. I'll scoop it in.
Okay, scoop towards me, then we'll both get a shovel full. Scoop! There we go, let's go. Up, up, by the way! Well, yours kind of missed, but that's okay. Okay. Well, just scrape it back into the pile. Scrape. When you scrape, you do this. It's kind of like raking. Maybe that's what we should name our pig, Bacon. <laughs> that's actually a good name. Come on, scoop, scoop, scoop. Scoop the poop. Good job. Now that's a load of poop there. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? Little bitty horses, a lot, a lot of poopy. Think you're gonna eat both of these at the same time, you're saying? Yeah, I'm gonna use that to fire the glow plug. <laughs> This is how you this is how you light white wet cigarettes. Ether? Yeah. yeah. Alright. We should crank. Oh start. no filter now, huh? I took it off. Cool. We should crank and uh spray the ether before I hit the glow plugs. That way it's turned in the right direction. So you're gonna crank and then you're gonna do that. After the ether. So when do you want me to do the ether? You got it. I mean, it's just dripping out, so I didn't want to spray anymore. Fucking open the light now. There we go. Okay. Should be a lot easier than that, dude. I was thinking that it should be pretty full. Come on, baby. Let me try something. Sure coughed nice a couple times, huh? Yeah, it's just weird though to me that it's not... I mean, if it's getting that much ether, you'd think it would run. Let's uh, check this. Box. Did you check the spark plugs? The plug. <laughs> you did check the spark plugs, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Clean, clean the spark plugs. Clean them up. <laughs> Use the sandpaper method. You know, there's people that just like sit there and explain it to you like they actually did check the spark plugs. Fell down, bent, boom. Good thing that wasn't rum.
brain's gonna detonate in my face in a minute. I'm not gonna. So much dust in the air cleaner. We might have a rat in there. That's a weird smell that's burning. <laughs> it's like heats. Why don't we put just the why don't we put a teeny squirt down there? Good. Just teeny squirt. Let me try to crack it first. When it gets too much, it tries to. Yeah, but I don't know how much made it down there. Okay. Well you're shooting right in the hole, right? Yeah, but it's kind of blocked by that little filter holder in there. Yeah, I've been sucking though. That's how we like it. But I mean, either way, it's just higher, right? Hey, Rich. Yeah. That's a, that's that's on. This is on. This is off. This is on. Uh, it says right there on. It says off. And on. Why don't we try it that way? Stupid, but whatever. You know what I mean? It has to be the same. going to start anyway. Well, you think the um, stop cable's been pulled? I, I pushed the linkage forward manually. It's all the way up against the stop, isn't it? Right here? Uh, okay, cool. You know where the linkage is. That's my yeah, question. It should, okay. be, it should be all the way. Let's see. If I pull, let's pull in this bottom in. So it should be, it should be out. out. Yeah, it should be. So pull the top in. See if it's right there. Twist it right back. You need to. You want me to do what? Push, just push the bottom out of this one. Just double check. Because all I would do is shut off fuel. It, was, it should still fire on the ether, though. You know what I'm saying? That's what I don't get. Yeah, it was in. It was right.
Why don't we just let it charge? Okay. It's so dead. Yeah.